Hi, this is Tapcat, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Uh, this is something of a special mission because I believe it will be the final regular mission of the campaign after today, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, we will be doing just the radio tower mission and the final assault on, you know, the enemy. So we are heading into the end game here. There are some things that have to pan out for that to happen, but let's go ahead. We'll talk about those at the end of the episode. Um, I have put our squad together. I have used lower level characters intentionally because as I said, we're about to go do these other missions where you very much want to bring your best and brightest. Um, I probably overdid that bringing a corporal, but Zoo Cougar is our lowest ranking member of the team, and like in our entire armory. And um, he's been relegated to going on a lot of covert ops and so forth. I know he's named after one of Sykin's viewers, and I thought, listen, I know it's late in the game, but let's try and get him a promotion. Um, I've used a whiskey on a number of missions. I'd like to get him a promotion as well. Uh, but we'll see. You know, you, you, everybody, they, they need however many kills they need. The biggest thing is we want to try, get out there, and hopefully come back in one piece. Position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Uh, by the way, I should just say my apologies. I know my we'll voice is definitely on the rough side today. And I'm going to try and keep it down. I have caught some kind of bug. But hopefully we can give you a... An entertaining episode and a successful one. Um, so we have to head over. I see. We have to head over that way. Okay. Well. Come here. Okay. Okay. I'm certainly not going to engage this Let's tool. This. Oh, that's not great. Moving far. Hmm. Closing on target position now. Heading to that location. Can I get closer? That's fine. On my way. All right. Didn't really need them to make it harder. And I saw leaves or something moving over here. We need to be careful. <clears throat> Where's that turret? It was somewhere over here. Yeah, this is kind of scary. So I can't see that pod. Hmm. Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. Uh, not really how I wanted to reveal myself. Hit the plate. 
Actually, I'm going to mix this up a bit. I was going to follow it up with a shot from my tech specialist. But... I said I wanted to get Zeus to a promotion. That'll work a lot better if he's getting kills. So there you go. And I will give him Overwatch. I think this will be fine. I don't believe that we're going to have to worry about triggering that other pod this turn. But that said, I'm going to put however many you know guns on, on Overwatch as I can. Different pod. We're really um, kind of hemmed in here. At least it's only two guys, it looks like. I didn't need that. I'd like to hit some of this Overwatch. That's two misses so far. Wow, four misses. Good job, guys. You, you really did us proud. I'll tell you one thing I'm not keen on, and that is the fact that... Um, I'm having to move backwards, essentially away from our goal. You know, away from our mission objective, is what I'm saying. There's 11 health and 6 shield, jeez. And we still, we haven't even, you know, touched this guy yet. <laughs> All right. We're getting there. Oh, I... Uh, I could trigger that other pod, but I think they're up here. This is risky. I'm going to do it, though. If I can get this kill, it's huge. I'm worried that when he drops down, they'll be able to this see me. That's fine. There you go. Yep. Well, it was high risk, high reward. Good news is I got the kill, but the bad news is, um, you know, obvious, I think. I think I just want to come over here. I don't think I need to overthink this. Okay. I uh, can't see. I think going on Overwatch is fine here. I could move forward. I think I'm just going to brace and go on Overwatch. Okay. So, uh, neither one of them will get an attack. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Well, I definitely... Hmm. I don't think the Mouton has a path that would realistically give him line of sight at a meet. So I'm just going to shoot. I guess I'm being stupid. Yeah. Um, let's do that. Like, why not put a mind cover? Okay, soften them up. Beautiful. And I'm thinking... I'm going to reload and fire. We're green to go. Perfect. Woo! You see that? So Zoo Cougar can see the Mouton, doesn't have a great shot. I'm going to take it. That was pretty good. Who's keeping score? That was pretty good. I, I don't have his promotion yet, but I mean, I feel like, you know, we're doing work yeah. here. Covering now. Um, I'll move up a tiny bit. Hostile forces spotted. I did not think I was opening. I, oh, okay, okay. I, I didn't reveal them. He saw them. They didn't see us. God, I just about crapped my pants there. What? So they're just literally dumping the map on me? I believe this is seven guys. We have three high powered Archon variants, a gatekeeper. Oh my God. I don't think the Archons to be fair. I'm not sure that they actually activated, but I mean, that's not terrible. Uh, but he's not the one that I want to do that with because I desperately need him to shred this guy. Yeah. Armor still holding. So reload. It's killing time. And hold up. Where's the meat? This is just so much more impactful than anything he's gonna do. I was afraid of that. Come on, focus. Come on, man. Just do it. Okay, that's pretty huge. Only the best. That's pretty huge. <sighs> I don't have a lot of great places to come. move to here. High cover as a bear. You're not really going to be able to do. I could go up here. Why can't you go inside? That's kind of weird. Hmm. All right, I'll just come over here. Get set up for next turn.
Do I want to use a mimic beacon? Maybe. I don't know if I'm going to succeed at this objective or not. Um, it's feeling very questionable, isn't it? We have three guys who are going to do what they want for sure. I'll do it. I still have a mimic beacon on him. Well, I have a 30% chance to kill this guy if I crit. Alright, I mean... We got some damage in. I'm good with it. I can't I can't leave Zoo Cougar back here. And I'm I'm terrified to move forward. We do not want to reveal anything. He doesn't have a shot. But I you know what? Screw it. Oh, I should have thought of this earlier. Oh, you fool. I can't actually kill the stupid thing. <laughs> I can't kill it. All right, never mind. Um, I'll just come back here. And I'll go on Overwatch, even though Overwatch for him is just terrible. That was good. Wow, if I could get this kill. Very nice. Very nice. Eh, I mean, listen, I still got what the stock did. I'll take it. So I think we're not going to take any damage this turn. Yeah? I had to say, I think, until they finish the turn, because I just never know when they're going to ignore the stupid uh, Mimic Beacon. Oh, this is good. Ah, oh, he missed. Okay. Uh, it was good to see one of them panic, though. So here's what I'm I'm thinking though. Um, I want to shoot that thing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I kind of need the mimic beacon though. There's way too many guys. <clears throat> I mean, this is pretty sketchy. There's a lot of guys on the map and they have Overwatch. Um, hang on just a second. I, I think I recognize this guy, but I need to, I need to prove it. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. He's an Archon Sentinel. So they get kind of Constant overwatch. And when I got a look earlier at the pod, they all looked identical to me. So I don't think we have one Sentinel and then, you know, two regular Archons. I think we have three, um, you know, Sentinels. I'm going to do this, even though I hate to. Can I, can I do this maybe? Yes. Okay. I think this is a good move for him. We got in a lot of damage that way and a lot of shredding that way. 
Okay. Uh, and of course I can't see the Archons anymore. He actually can't see anybody. If I come over here, I'm probably going to take just a crap ton of fire. Um, what if I come here? I think this is reasonable. I don't think they'll see me uh, early enough to shoot, and they didn't. What I didn't count on is that he wouldn't be able to see this guy. That makes no sense to me. However, whether it makes sense or it doesn't make sense, uh, that is the situation. So I have two choices. I can take a shot at this panicked guy or I use a grenade. Fair enough. Um, let me move up. Okay, I definitely want to do this. Good. Very, very good. Okay. I don't think it matters what I do anymore. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get the hack all the way over here. We're probably failing this mission. But what I'd like to do is, if I'm going to fail, first of all, I want to try to not fail. But if I'm going to, then I at least want to try and um, not give get the living snot beat out of us, you know, while failing. <clears throat> I'd like to have a relatively clean run here. There's just way too many, you know, health for me to burn through here, unfortunately. And I am, I'm just 100%, we're having a Mimic Beacon turn. I mean, as much as I want to fire, you know, like, come on. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. These guys are extremely dangerous. I missed anyway. Even with an 83% chance, I missed anyway. That's a bummer. And I'm tempted to grapple, but I mean, come on. I'm hanging him out to dry that way. I'm positive that the Mimic Beacon will not absorb all of the attacks. I actually think I'm better off just going on Overwatch here. I, I missed, but I, let's be real. I was probably going to miss anyway. Yeah, I'm only going to pick up one more attack. But that's not terrible because that really only leaves one. One of them is panicked, and then this guy is going to do whatever he wants. And he, what he wants is to go on Overwatch, and I'm okay with that. Locked and loaded. Um, can I can I use the plasma blaster to get effect? I mean, not amazing. If I'm being real. I, honestly, I think this is better. Okay. Hit the armor. <sighs> Let's hold him because this is my last turn. God, I have. <laughs> I'll say again. No, I do not believe I can move him. Where can I move? Like, I could move here. Maybe. It's an. It's conceivable. That's the best I'll give it. Um, it's taken out these Archons. I just don't see it. I don't. Mm -hmm. 
haven't even killed one of them yet. I hate that I can't even see the... Uh, like, this is so stupid. <laughs> so I'm sitting here having to fire at the panicked guy. Whatever, man. He's probably going to attack next turn anyway, to be fair. All right, let's do it. No I'm going to go on Overwatch. Because I need to try to kill him when he gets up. Which, obviously, he will do. Hmm. So I have three guys left. Who can you see? You can see him. But if I move, this guy is going to fire at him. Okay. I tell you what. <clears throat> the dream of um, doing this is dead. Um, well, I tell you. Oh, I have to take the shots with Sue Cougar. He has 12 health. He will live. He will live if I do this. Even if he gets hit. What if I dash? Could I do anything more meaningful? Like, what if I dashed here? He would have a better chance to not get hit. But I'm insta-flanked by this guy. And the Overwatch might not kill him. Okay, I'm going to risk him taking a shot. And he did get hit. Sorry, Zoo Cougar. Oh, I didn't... Okay. Well, that's okay up to a point. Because uh, this won't, I don't believe, do anything to him. Uh, but my thinking is we want to make sure we hit these two guys. And then if I just happen to be close enough to hit the other one great but we want to try to wreck them uh, but the one guy's in stasis that's why I just don't believe it matters and I think I broke their um, their what you call their overwatch with that flashbang uh, but this was what I wanted to see can I get close enough and I can't. I can't do the hack. It's not an option. So that being the case, let's just get a kill. All right. I actually think I'd rather go on Overwatch here. Uh, because I want to make sure this guy dies. That's really what it comes down to. When he moves... Oh, he, he didn't move. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, my tech specialist could die then. I, yeah. So, I did not anticipate that combination. That really sucks. Um, what I was obviously trying to do was make it that when the... Um, priest moved the overwatch would take him out and then i was counting on being able to survive a single shot but i <laughs> i did not anticipate that we would just get blasted like that so let me do this brother that's good overall. He's got Guardian up, I believe it is.
Hi, Future Tapcat here, and I just wanted to say a few words about uh, Amit's death. So, for the most part, I'm relatively happy when I look back on it in terms of what I had done to set up Overwatch on that turn. We had two men that were ready to take out uh, that priest when he came out of stasis, but I did make what I think was, you know, kind of a greedy blunder in that realistically, I knew it was unlikely we were going to be able to get that hack. And I moved to meet forward. So while I didn't anticipate the fact that, you know, the one guy wouldn't move and we wouldn't get Overwatch, I guess what I'm trying to say is I, I put him out there without cover in pursuit of a goal that I knew was a long shot. And so once I realized that I wasn't going to get that, yeah, I don't know. By then, so I went ahead and took the kill. I think that made sense. But I feel like the real mistake was just moving him forward. And then if I was going to move him at all, you know, I should have just looked for better cover or something like that. Um, and then tried to finish off the one guy that he ultimately did. I just think moving him forward, it's very hard for me. Like you can say this is kind of a strength that can become a weakness. I get very determined to achieve objectives when I play games and XCOM is certainly no exception to that. So I do not just walk away from mission objectives. Like I don't just go, oh, it's too hard. Forget it. You know, because then there's a lot of times where you could have done it and you just bail. And in this is one time where I should have bailed. I should have bailed and I just wanted to take that one more step. And then in the end, it cost us a soldier. Now, again, this isn't a soldier that was ever going to go on more missions. So you can say it doesn't matter. But tactics matter. Choices matter. And as you form habits, you want them to be good ones, not ones that'll get soldiers killed over the course of a campaign. So anyway, I just wanted to say a few words on that and kind of give my final thoughts on it. And now back to past Tapcat. But it looks to me like he's not on Overwatch anymore. Okay, I'm very anxious about this because if I don't kill this guy this turn, um, it's pretty terrible. I apparently misclicked because I didn't even pick a destination. Le legit, like, I was just clicking the button and then I was going to click on the spot. And apparently, without meaning to, you know, I just did the work. <laughs> I did the thing. Uh, okay, so let me, um, let me try and get him this kill. Because he's another one. Oh, I need max damage. Um, can anybody kind of soften him up? Obviously, we're just going to go all in on killing this guy this turn. Oh, brother. He might do lethal. Um, <laughs> everybody might do lethal. What was yours? All right, never mind. You know what? You take this shot. It's lethal or it's not. I just can't really. Yeah, okay. It is what it is, man. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get the sharpshooter. Okay. Is that the last of them? No. Oh, there is there is another one. Okay. I wasn't positive about that. Let me go on Overwatch. Oh, man. <clears throat> I thought there might have been one more. I kind of... 
There's been so much going on with these different guys, and I have to admit, I uh, got rattled a little bit when we lost poor Amit, our tech specialist. Oh, brother. Well, that answers the question of whether there was another pod. Okay, I obviously don't particularly care to stand out here with no cover. Hmm. And I don't really want to run into their overwatch, and at least the one guy does have overwatch. Yet if I don't go into overwatch... I can't shoot. I can't kill them. Hang on just a second. I, I want to check something. Um, okay. I have at least a Here thought. And we're going to try this. Apparently, I cannot hit the one guy... And I can't hit both of these targets, which is honestly a real shame. I'm going to do this. This should kill the wounded Archon that we had previously been engaged with. And I'm more than happy to do this. And before I take his second shot, oh, that's gonna trigger. Um, oh, there is literally no cover up here. And there, there's like no cover anywhere. I'm, I'm trying to find a way to get him a kill without just teeing him up. This is not cover because, you know, the turret got killed. Okay, I have an idea. Let's use run and gun. I can dash. Um, and on a dash, they have a less, less of a chance to hit. Okay, I mean, this is kind of a stupid thing to do. I will come here. And hopefully I don't get... Oh, God, he's already wounded. Okay, they did miss. Yeah, I... <clears throat> I was thinking he was at full health, which was kind of stupid because you can see his health. That said, we took out the one guy. I... I I'm, I'm thinking I just take the crappy shot. Okay. Still got some damage. Not even close. He's a sentinel as well. well I'm just going to get closer. Since he's not on Overwatch... I don't know exactly how their powers work. I know there are times where I've watched them take, you know, multiple Overwatch shots on a single turn. Um, but I guess it's it's something they have to activate because he clearly didn't have that just now. Okay, he just went on Overwatch. Interesting. Well, let me reload, and I I think he's going to get, probably, to shoot back, but yes. But he missed. Hopefully, we don't. He did, though. Oof. Oh, he's doing covering fire. That's interesting. Uh, can someone else hit this guy 
soften them up. Okay, guys. At some point, it would be really helpful if we could do some damage. <laughs> I know, it wasn't a great shot. I get it. I'm just saying, again, like, eventually, to you need to hit. There you go. Okay. Back in. Before I use him, I'm going in. I'm not close enough for the sword. This isn't a great shot. Whether that got him his promotion, I don't know. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. That's right, I forgot. We lost poor meat. Well, um, listen, this mission was a bit of a free pass, but I'm still sad to lose a soldier, even if it's one we weren't going to use on any more missions. I just It's the way I play. I don't ever want to kind of feel like I'm throwing away somebody. And... Um, I was really interested in trying to get some some promotions for people. Did I see Zoo Cougar? Okay, he was most under fire. Yeah. Um, so I would have loved to have gotten promotions for any of the lower level guys. You know, Amit, who unfortunately died. Um, Whiskey, the... the um, yeah, so we did. Okay, that's cool. At least we got promotions for him and for Zoo Cougar. So we got him wounded, but at least we got him a bump. So, let's see. Get one partial movement action point refunded after a turn-ending melee attack. Um, team plus two when running gun is activated. That's actually pretty good. Reaching maneuver. Get one partial movement point. Okay, that's way too specific. So I would want one of these two. Um, I do really like this. It's kind of like the poor man's um, implacable. Uh, but this is also quite good. I'll go ahead and just take breakthrough. Again, we're never going to take these guys on another mission, so it doesn't really matter. I don't want to sit here dithering about it the whole time. And we'll go ahead and take low profile for him. I'm glad we were able to get him up to captain. And I'm glad we were at least able to get Zoo Cougar off of covert ops action and get him a promotion. Uh, we did fail to counter the dark event, uh, but that's all right. And then those two can bond, which is fine. I, it's so funny. I haven't been doing the bonding training. I've just kind of left all that to Saiken. I just kind of didn't want to be bothered, if I'm going to be really honest about it. Um... Oh, she's, she, he's tired. Sure. All right. I'm good with it. Let's go ahead and see if we can finish scanning. So there is a supply drop. Yep. Oh, that actually is pretty bad. Hopefully it does not apply to um, the intel costs for the, the radio tower. I hope it doesn't. Alright. Uh, let's, let's scan for intel. Setting course for the South African sector. 
He may need more intel. <clears throat> you know, the radio tower, if you're not familiar with it, there's always perks you can buy. And um, so you might even get an extra squad member, which is pretty huge. Uh, but you have to pay with intel. Yeah, let's do this. Try to get some intel, just in case. And this is really what we were waiting for because we wanted, you know, uh, Marquez and and Hogbite. We wanted them available for these final missions. I'll go ahead and assign somebody new. We'll just pick something and send a couple low-level guys. Uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. All right. My followers will lead this action to victory. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I'd like for this to finish. We completed our there we go. Okay. So we're up to 239. I'm going to leave it here. And the idea is that Saiken will go ahead and take care of the radio to tower tomorrow. And I will start the final mission the next day. Uh, now, if he wants to scan or do, you know, one of the... There was another data pad thing. Um, yeah, this. Here, I'll go ahead and start it. If he wants to finish this, that's fine. If the intel cost for the radio tower have doubled, I don't think it would work that way, but I can't swear. At any rate, I'm going to leave that up to Saiken. But that's all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope we see you next time.